This is the Franklin Township Public Library trustees meeting. It is Wednesday, March 23rd. I, uh, and uh, this meeting is being held by Zoom. Uh, I will call the meeting to order. We'll start with the Pledge of Allegiance. Can you see the flag here? Yes. Yeah. 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 Pledge of Allegiance to the flag, the flag. of the United, United States, States of America, States of America. And, and to, and to the, Republic the Republic for which it stands, it stands. One, one nation, nation. under God, God. Uh, indivisible, indivisible, with liberty, with liberty, liberty and justice, and justice for all. For all. Iris, I think you just called me and I hung up on you. Call back again and we'll have you on my phone. Roll call. NBC? Yeah. Tiana Gresham? Here. Agnes Kulabanya? Yes. Kevin McNeil? Yes. Thank you. Iris Kissing. Persistent. <laughs> Iris is here. Yeah. Nick Champa, I'm here. Ed Ward. Present. And Mayor Kramer. Hello. Very glad to see January Adams, our director, is here, as well as our technical guru, Bob Woodward. Woodward, that's your right No, I'm not. <laughs> Wardlow. I'm sorry. <laughs> because he's a guru, he changed. <laughs> okay. Uh, this meeting is being held in accordance with the Open Public Meetings Act, also known as the Sunshine Law. The schedule and notification have been provided to the Courier News, the Home News Tribune, and the Franklin Township Clerk. Copies have been posted in the library's vestibule and are also available at the reference desk. I'd like to open the meeting to any member of the public who might like to make a comment at this time. There are no members of the public attending tonight. I will therefore close the first portion of the public comment. Uh, is there a, a, a motion to accept the minutes of the uh, February 23rd meeting, Tiana? Yes. Okay. Edward Ward second. The, uh, there's a motion uh, made and seconded. Is there any discussion about the motion to accept the minutes from uh, January, February 23rd? Seeing no discussion, I'll call the uh, call for those in favor, please signify by raising their hand. I see that uh, this motion has passed unanimously. Thank you. Let's move on to the director's reports. Uh, uh, January, would you like to start us off with uh, any comments on the financial reports that uh, we've received? I have no no comment. Um, if if uh, we should be at approximately sixty six point four percent of the budget, and altogether we're at fifty six, and the branch is at sixty five. So everything. these numbers all come together at the end. Yes. How about your operations report? Any uh, anything you'd like to uh, point out to us? Sure. Um, the Adult Services Department had 28 programs. 397 people came. And our annual online teen poetry jam has started, started March 21st. If anybody's uh, watching this is interested in the contest will end on April 24th. All the reading programs ended on February 28th. So now we start getting ready for the summer one. And on March 11th, I was in a live streaming event at the library where PJ Parker came and interviewed uh, me and Kyoto Bartley, who has uh, 
annual drawings up on the wall right now. Um, as you know, the construction site is moving along slowly but surely. And I sent you a, a drone picture so you could see what it looked like on March 15th. Thank you. I was very impressed with that picture and uh, I've been yeah, to the site a couple of times there. It's going to be interesting when it's finished to have the uh, starting uh, picture. Yes. It's going to be uh, interesting. Yeah, I didn't know the land would look so bare when the clearing yeah. was done. Bare. Yeah. Yeah. The trees on the left side of the picture are to remain? Yeah. I guess so. Yeah, and those are the ones next to the board uh, to the uh, school. Yeah, they're 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 alongside of the parking lot. Though. Yeah, that was discussed at the uh, planning board session that they remain there. So I was recently asked about the drive or the sidewalk. Would there be a sidewalk in front of the library that goes towards the school? Probably. I believe so. Yes. I mean, we should definitely have that because kids will go from the school to the library. So we should yes, they will. And uh, in addition to that sidewalk, they will make improvements on the uh, sidewalk that's on the library property by putting uh, ramps down for pedestrians. So, Is Iris trying to get in touch with you, Nick? She's, show, she's holding up something. Do you see Iris? Iris? She's holding up something. <laughs> Says your name on it. <laughs> yeah, the phone. Okay. Uh, I hear you. We can see her. I, I can hear you. In the, uh, email that I send out, in the email that I send out, there's a phone number that Agnes can call and listen Hi. to the meeting. But she wouldn't be able, and, and she should be able to speak as well. Just mute, mute the uh, computer. We can hear. Yeah, her. can you hear? Yeah. Can you hear me though? Okay, I can hear you. I'll hold. I'll hold the phone up to my ear, and I'll be able to hear you. <laughs> okay. Fine. Let's see. Um, the Where director's are? report. I was, was finishing up. I got one question for yes, sir. January. The um, teen uh, on the annual teen poetry. Yes. Uh, what grade level is that? For? That's um, middle school and high school. Just out of curiosity. I don't know, but I will find out. Okay, and if you I can, know. can you send me a flyer? Because I'd like to get our schools involved. Sure. So I'll contact the English supervisor for middle school and high school. So, okay. you know, it could be a nice collaboration where the kids can submit their poetry. That'd be great. Yeah. Okay. Yep. <laughs> cool. That's it. Thank you. Nice report. Thank you. Yeah. I do have a president's report. Um, I mailed it out to all of you. Unfortunately, I did it rather late. You. Not in the back. You will get it. Uh, you should have it. The Franklin Township Public Library operates on a third mill of funding from the township, plus another approximate 1% from the state. These funds pay operating expenses as well as building, operating, and capital costs. The current budget is about $3.65 million. 15 towns in the county are members of the Somerset County Library System. Their budget is $18.37 million, with $18.08 million coming from local taxes. This is 31.8% above the one-third middle. The 10 towns with branch buildings also pay operating, maintenance, and capital costs for these facilities. It is a credit to the director of our of library services and staff that our library runs efficiently and independently. If we were full members of the county system, I estimate that we would have to come up with an additional $1.16 million per year. 
And then I referred you to page two, which you'll have to get. Next, let's look at the result of New Jersey's third mill library funding. The law requires that each municipality provide, provide no less than one third of a mill based on their equalized property avail, value. For example, if the valuation is $10 billion, the library support would be $3,333,333 per year. It is fortunate that we have such a law as it assures library funding throughout the state. However, the formula is based upon property values rather than the number of people served. Page three shows the result town by town of the third mill and the resulting funding per person. If any of you are really interested, you can read that report in your email. Um, correspondence yeah. and communication, is there any? No. No, okay. Is there any old business? See no old business, is there any new business? Oh, in response to the president's report, you'll be happy to know that the library funding from the three mills tax is gonna go from 3.775 million to 4.319 million because of the increased valuation of yeah. properties in uh, Franklin. So yes. you've got another half a million dollars plus to work that's good. with. Yes, that's, thank you, Mayor. We, uh, this is part of the inflationary trend, I guess. Yeah. Iris? <clears throat> uh, January, Iris is asking whether you knew that a librarian would go to Somerset Run uh, next week. No, I did not know that. Is... I'm sorry, we're having a little trouble with the with the sound here. Uh, Iris will call you January and okay, okay, and discuss that with you. Okay. I'm, I'm, Is there any other new business? So what is the current mask status at the library? Uh, we're not requiring, we're, su we're suggesting that patrons wear masks, but we're not uh, insisting on it. Okay. And what are we planning for our meetings? Are we gonna stay virtual or go um, in person? Uh, when the, uh, I think one of the meetings that before last, then we voted on on having it virtual until a certain date. Does anybody remember? Did that date pass? Date yet decided. I remember taking a vote to say that we we're going to have the meetings virtual until a certain day. Unfortunately, I don't remember what month that we. Um, decided we was going to revisit the uh, question. <coughs> Agnes, did you have I, your I hand I think up? it was April. We had said April. Uh, I'm not sure. Do you know what meeting that mm -hmm. was? Well, it wasn't last, it was in last month. No, I think it had to be, it had to, no. I wasn't here last month. So I think it was the. It's been three meetings. January, January or December's meeting. Yeah, yeah, it was either January or yeah. December. Mayor, what if, what are the uh, rules as far as you're concerned? When can we start, if we wanted to, when could we start to go back to in-person meetings? Well, anytime you want. There are municipalities, I don't know about libraries, but there are municipalities who never meet, met virtually. They met in person from the beginning. Um, the 
DCA kind of had a ruling about when do you have to go back? And this is for municipalities again, I don't know that libraries are under this rule. And they kind of said the, the rule to stay virtual runs out at the end of March. However, there are indications in some of the law that you could have always gone virtual. So um, I don't think there's anything hard and fast. Council will be going back virtual in April. You mean in person? I'm sorry, thank you. Yes. Okay. And I'm not saying that that's what, therefore that's what we should do. I'm just giving you the lay of the land. Well, I would, I would uh, solicit a motion. Would someone like to make a motion one way or the other on this Before so you, that we can discuss it officially? Before you do, I found, I found the minutes and it was the December meeting and it was uh, Kevin motion to proceed with the 2022 board meetings via Zoom until the COVID-19 situation changed. No date, no <laughs> correct. Well, that's every day. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, uh, I wasn't. I wasn't. I, 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 okay, I guess I was pretty vague. With no my, comment. <laughs> with my motion, so has it changed? <laughs> like the mayor said, every day, right? Every every day. So, um, so I would like to uh, motion uh, uh, that we discuss um, next meeting. That would that you could go back in uh, in person meetings. When uh, yeah, are we? No, like I don't know. So I, I are think you making a motion to just to in person like, meetings or what? Eric says her hand. No, I don't. I don't know. I don't know how. Uh, I think we should uh, discuss. Um, you know, when do, uh, you know, what is everybody's preference? I mean, um, so I guess I, I would need to make a motion on when to go back. I would, I would motion um, uh, that we wait uh, at least another month, you know, that we have, that we have, um, that we have next month's meeting uh, virtually and <laughs> Okay, so Zoom in as person, I understand it, Kevin, your motion changed. is to hold April's meeting virtually and then mm -hmm. May's meeting in person. Is that your motion? My motion would be to to have to have April's meeting in uh, virtually and discuss uh, when we would like to have in person meetings. Okay, so your motion is to cover essentially April right. and, I'm leave May being and, and leave anything beyond that yeah. open. Okay. So we need Here to a second. Add, uh, yeah. I think Iris had her hand up mm -hmm. to second it, Iris. Yeah. Okay. Iris has seconded that motion. <coughs> now we're open for discussion on that particular motion. Anyone? Iris? Well, I think, hello. I can hear you. <coughs> can you put your phone on speaker and hold it next to your mic? Yeah, put your phone on speaker, Nick. There you go. No good. I think there's a benefit of having virtually. I, I don't see any benefit for going. Can't even hear anything. Uh, yeah, that's going to be too yeah, much. Uh, I I will relay. Iris just. I'm, There's an yeah, echo. Please back. Her phone doesn't work too well, but Iris just expressed that she doesn't see any benefit in going in person. Uh, so I assume she's in favor of remaining virtual, and she's shaking her head that I. I I. I right. her, I'm inclined to agree. I don't know. I mean, I love seeing you guys in, in person. Um, we can see I, you. I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if it's, um, I don't know what benefits there would be to in-person uh, meetings. Um, I mean, if, if 
if the if there is no uh, regulation that states that we have to, I'm in favor of having uh, uh, virtual meeting meetings until uh, until you know Summer. until it's until we you know pretty much clear of this uh, uh, pandemic. I mean, if ever. Can you define what you mean by clear of the pandemic? Yeah, so I mean, measurement. So there's a measurement. Right. I don't. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, mean no, I don't, no new cases or the cases under. Right. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know the metrics of of how we how we would uh, how we would determine what the end of the, of the pandemic is. I mean, I, I mean, maybe this is the new normal. Maybe this is how we're going to be from from now on. But. I don't know. Is there? Is, does anybody know? Is there any regulation saying that we have to meet in in public or I mean in person? Or does anybody? I don't know. What is everybody's preference? I mean, do you guys mind having uh, virtual meetings, or do, would you guys rather meet at the library oh. in person? Well, nobody. What? What? I'm all for virtual. <laughs> what is the mandate? Max, uh, mass mandate. If we meet virtual, if we meet in person. Well, at the library, uh, January stated that they're encouraging the patrons to wear masks, uh, but it's not going to be uh, mandatory. I'd rather stay virtual without masks. <laughs> no. I would be wearing a mask. We are in a small. We are in a small room. Well, we can meet, we could always meet in a bigger room. No need. Okay, I mean, you may want to check with the attorney whether, yeah, I just know the municipal law. Okay, I'm going to. Okay. Right. I mean, if there's no, I, I mean, does anybody, I mean, there's a lot of places that, 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 that uh, operated one way before the pandemic and then after the pandemic, I mean, like my wife and daughters included, you know, that like they're, they're never going back full, you know, because it's, it's, it was, you know, this pandemic showed that it's, it's really no reason for them to go to the office every day. So they're like, you know, um, well, okay. I, I understand that. Uh, that's a different uh, set of, policies for uh, a company than... Um, oh, no, no, I'm, un I'm understanding that. Yeah. So I'm okay, saying, so, so that here's, here's how I see it. We're not working anyway. It's been seconded. We're discussing it. The inputs that I've gotten are um, at least two people, maybe three of you uh, favor remaining virtual. Uh, Mayor Kramer has suggested that we check with our attorney to see right. if there are any right. rules specific to libraries. Yeah. Um, January said she would do this, and uh, so the so the uh, the motion was to. You want me to read the motion back? Yes, read the motion back, and let's see where okay. we are. Kevin motioned to hold April's meeting virtually and to discuss at that time when to go back to in person. Yes. Okay. Are we ready to take a vote on that motion? And, and, and just let me ask a question. You, uh, we will probably know by the next meeting uh, the what the lawyers was, uh, right. say about you know what the lawyers said. Yeah, uh, about uh, us. You know about the uh, in person means. Okay, so I guess I'm ready to. Okay, um, uh, just, uh, just just one add, quick comment. Okay, can you add that January to next meeting agenda as old business? Or new business. Well, new business will be discussing um, uh, virtual or in-person meeting for the rest of the year. Okay. And then you'll have all the information that you'll gather from the township, our lawyer, and then we can add that to the agenda as new business. And then we can take a, another vote to determine if we want to go the rest of the year virtual or in-person. Okay. Okay. Yeah. The, the consequence of meeting virtually if we have to meet per in person would be that if we passed a resolution or something binding if someone someone could um 
object to it and in theory bring us to court and to try to negate that motion. Just, I'm not saying that's gonna happen or it's likely. I'm just thinking, what is the consequence? If we don't vote on anything of consequence, and I don't know what they can, but it matters okay. whether virtual or private. Just again, a thought. We can yeah. vote every meeting. <laughs> Maybe you can ask the lawyer about that also. The okay, I, I, of, uh, having a vote. I, I understand the uh, questions and understand that answers will be available. Okay. Um, I think I still believe that we're ready to take a vote on this motion. Yes. Sure. Those yeah. in favor of passing the motion, please signify by raising their hand. Each of the motion. To have the next year. Yeah. Uh, okay, I see that this motion has passed unanimously. If anyone's watching, I don't have a vote. That's why I didn't raise my hand. Good job. <laughs> Well, Tiana, Tiana voted. Yeah. Yes. Right. yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's see. We were on. Was this old business or, or new? No, we made it to do. New. That was new, new business. <laughs> Is right. there any other new business? I'll shut up now. Uh, <laughs> I would like to open the again. Open the meeting to any public comment. Has any Does member not. of the public come on? Uh, no member of the public has joined us. Public second part of the public comment is closed. Our next meeting will be April 27th. And um, I'd, I'd ask for a motion to adjourn now. NBC, is there a second? Tiana has seconded. Uh -huh. Any discussion about adjournment? No. Nope. No. Okay. The meeting is. Uh, oh, those in favor of the of the journey? <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, okay. The meeting is adjourned.